the surgery, what is it about, and、uh, when and who should have this surgery? Hello, everyone. It's Doctor Huang's clinic. Today, I want to introduce about my surgery, which is、uh, to treat your nasal obstruction and your allergic rhinitis. And and from my Facebook page, and most of the time you will see a video like I took something out from a patient's nasal、uh, nasal cavity, and I will always call it a fried nasal turbinate. And、uh, how does it come? When when will people need this kind of surgery? And today I will use a brief introduction to tell you, uh, the surgery, what is it about, and、uh, when and who should have this surgery. Okay, so uh, this surgery I have given it a very short name. It's called RPN three, and the whole name is called radio frequency of bilateral inferior turbinate and posterior nasal nerve neuralizers. So、uh, basically, it's composed of two kinds of surgery. The first one is radio frequency, and the radio frequency is a、uh, it has a long history of、uh, usage in the medical field. And、uh, for the nasal turbinate, people use it to decrease their size of turbinate. And so, posterior nasal nerve neuralysis is a relatively new technique, and it will help you to in,、uh, decrease your nasal discharge and、uh, help you control your sneezing and throat itching. So, how does it work? So today, I will draw a picture for you. Um. So. Suppose this is the nasal cavity, and this is our high lip, and so this it represents our throat. And、uh, natural people will have、uh, superior turbinates, middle turbinates, and inferior turbinates. Most of the nasal obstruction and rhinorrhea comes from the inferior turbinates. When allergies comes, it will become swelled, and it will cause your nasal obstruction. So. The inferior turbinates will become as large as your nasal cavity and cause your nasal breathing to stop. And because there is another nerve in the posterior side of the nasal cavity, it's called posterior nasal nerve. It will innervate your middle turbinate, your inferior turbinate, and also your throat. And you, it will cause you from nasal rhinorrhea, and it will cause you feel like post nasal drip. And、people may feel some kind of cough or throat irritation due to this nerve. So, our solution is composed of two parts. First, we will use a radio frequency to decrease the turbinate size. Radio frequency is used by a handpiece, like it's a stick, and you will use a needle into your nasal turbinate. You will release an energy, and you will. And cauterize your nasal turbinate. Therefore, your nasal turbinate will become shrinkage. It will have a smaller size. And actually, there will be a new mucosa and regrowth and covering your nasal cancal bone. So the new mucosa will have a less potential to become swelled. So the nasal cavity can become patent now. So second part, we will use a laser. Device to cauterize your posterior nasal nerve. So when we cauterize the nasal nerve, you will decrease the nerve innervation to your middle turbinate, your inferior turbinate, and your throat. Therefore, the nasal rhinorrhea and postnasal drip and the itching sensation in your nose and throat will decrease. And furthermore, after the procedure has completed, the Uh, other nasal tissue left in the nasal cavity will no longer receive as much as nasal stimulation than before surgery, so the potential for recurrence of the nasal allergy symptom will also decrease. So by composing the two technique, first we can decrease the nasal turbinate size and it will become less obstruction. Second, we will、uh, decrease the nasal、uh, stimulation function, so the rhinorrhea, nasal itching, and the potential for recurrence of symptom will also improve a lot. And by complete these two technique, we will control our nasal obstruction and nasal allergic symptom 
um, the score will had an improvement to 60 to 70 percent in one month and it will come to 90 percent in three months so that's all so by doing our two techniques the radio frequency of inferior turbinates and also the posterior nasal nerve neuralysis we can help you to eliminate your nasal obstruction and your nasal allergic symptom okay please feel free to leave any message or you have any question you can just private message me bye